Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And of course, the view is the view, and they say the craziest things, and they appeal to a very sliver minority of wine moms out there with multiple cats who steal their ballots from their husbands to vote for them in order to go ahead and continue to vote for people like Joe Biden. Well, Whoopi Goldberg tonight on the uh, on the show has a complete meltdown talking about how Trump's going to round up people, put them in camps. I'm like, whoa, whoa, Whoopi, I'm already voting for the guy. You don't got to sell me on him. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys don't know, that's a meme. Anyway, so before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button if you're new here. Thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1,500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that join button, become a member of the channel, or you can smash that super thanks and help contribute to the channel. All of it's very appreciated. So thank you to you. And all the other 225,000 of you guys who have subscribed to the channel and all the new subs who have uh, come on board, we are so close to hitting that 226,000 uh, view number. I hope that we hit it here soon. So before we, uh, so let's go ahead and dive into our story coming to over here uh, via Mr. Reagan, awesome YouTuber on this platform. If you haven't followed him already, just type in Mr. Reagan on YouTube and you'll see his stuff. Uh, he's also over on Twitter or X. Um, and has some great stuff over there as well. So check him out. Great channel. Great guy. So let's go ahead and dive into what we have here. Um, over here on X, it says, Whoopi Goldberg claims Trump has promised to send Americans to concentration camps. Let's say, listen. It's interesting. Oh, for, I'm sorry. What's interesting for me is that people's faith in the country is waning. Yes. That's the, yes. that's the thing that's yes. pissing me off because in fact there's a reason Joe Biden ran the way he did. There's a reason he's running for democracy now because that's really what's at stake. You worried that it you is. can't pay your bill? Wait till he the other guy becomes president and you won't have to worry about it cuz you'll be in some camp somewhere cuz that's his <laughs> promise. His promise to us is he's going to force people to do his bidding. That's what he said. I'm with this. I'm going to be good on day one, and I'm going to turn into this other person. So here's the deal. This is all up to you. This is all up to you. We can sit up here till we're green in the face. But this really comes down to the people. What is the country you want? Do you want the country that you kind of thought you had, where we all get to say what we think, and we don't have to be afraid of being American? And believing that, yeah, there will be people who come in and some will get in quick and some will take a different route. But they're coming here for a reason because they're living in a place that's not good for their families. If you're OK with that, you understand that, then fight for us to find a better way to make immigration work. Fight for that. Don't fight for keeping everybody out because then we all have to leave. Yeah, keep everybody out. That's a great campaign slogan. I would love for that to be the campaign slogan this year. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Whoopi Goldberg with a lot of lies here, of course. Uh, uh, but there are a lot of people that need retribution, right? There's a lot of people who need uh, to be held accountable for the things that they did uh, during the last four years and multiple years prior to that as they continue to try to tear this country down, continue to try to round up parents. The FBI needs to be hold ac uh, held accountable the CIA needs to be held accountable. There are members of Congress who need to be held accountable. There are members in the media who need to be held accountable. There is a lot of accountability that needs to go around. And I'm okay with a president running on the platform of, hey, uh, there are a lot of people that need accountability. And yeah, some of them are going to be locked up. And hey, the Democrats have opened that door. They've opened that door starting with the prosecution of President Trump. They started this. They opened the door. They paved the way to see this through. And so now they're fearing that it's going to actually happen to them now. And so now they want Republicans to be these uh, these uh, uh, people who are going to be, oh, no, we, we're all about the quorum now. No, 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 no. That, that ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. You continue to push the envelope. And, and, uh, and what Whoopi says that uh, – you think you live in America where we can all have our voices? No, no, they don't want our voices heard. They actively work to suppress voices, actively work to kick people off platforms, actively work to get people fired from their jobs for having a different opinion or for having a white skin. Uh, these are the people who we are up against right now. We do need 
uh, stern leadership who is going to point this country back in the right direction. And that leadership right now is solely on the side of uh, Donald Trump and maybe a few others uh, out there. So we got to continue to uh, push. We got to continue to remind the normies out there that these people exist, that they don't want a President Trump uh, presidency. They don't want any of this stuff because they understand what is coming. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.